Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. And before we start this video, I actually wanted to talk to you about this um, car, right? So it's a 2004 Mercedes C230 and uh, it's a W203 chassis. So uh, this is actually like one of those cars where Mercedes started going downhill, unfortunately, and that really, uh, really, really brings me sadness because, um, you know, th this actually is a really cool car. I really like it a lot, you know, but there are a lot of other, other things and um, sad things about this car is that, well, first of all, is, you know, like you usually know that people neglect these cars. So this is actually a 20 year old car right now, which is super amazing, I would say, right? Um, and uh, yeah, the date stamp is actually from 2003. It was built like at the uh, mid 2003 year and uh anyway so like the the car is just totally different comparing to like other cars right so i've been you know dealing with the parasitic jaws on this car and a bunch of other issues that this car has mainly like electrical issues um that you guys will see in this video uh throughout the series but the thing is that like they, these cars are just like not built the same way you know the funny thing is like this car has you know it says that it was built in stuttgart uh like you know other old school benzes uh, but uh, this is where Mercedes, like I said, started going downhill. They started using a bunch of, you know, unnecessary electronics, you know, honestly. And another thing that I really dislike is that there's a bunch of, you know, communication lines, CAN bus lines, right? That they started, like, not just Mercedes, Mercedes but other manufacturers also started using that. It's like the worst system and most unreliable system with all this, like, why did these modules have to talk to each other and all that? You know, this is like literally like i have this baby benz right there that does not have this bs and it's been the most reliable car ever in the world you know and this one this is still a reliable car obviously I have to put love and care to these cars too but um you know with all these like like first of all yeah the, the communication lines second of all why does every single door need to have its own module to control power windows power door locks and everything else and then eventually uh that module will go bad and start will start drawing current like on this car uh yeah it's just funny the way things are and you know i, I don't know what's going to be next so yeah uh, make sure you take care and love your old school benzes and other old school uh cars that you have well this one i would say still deserves love and care because they're still amazing it's a really fun car to drive around it's a two-door especially too and actually they came with six-speed manual uh, versions of these cars which was also really fun it was a v6 engine it was a inline four like this one's an inline four but this one is automatic but still another thing that's uh, that i really dislike that mercedes started going into is the electronic ignition system so this is the key there's actually the original key to this car and um what happens with these is like when people keep dropping these keys you know if i drop the 190 key which is a regular mechanical key nothing's gonna really happen to it right but these one these keys right here if you keep dropping these keys they're just gonna eventually something will come loose because inside of this key there's actually like two batteries and also circuit board circuit board so if something comes loose which it can come loose on a circuit board you won't be able to turn on your car or do anything you'll just install this key into the ignition and you know the steering lock will not unlock and you won't be able to turn the key yeah, it's a it's a big pain, you know. The electronic ignition system on these cars, when started, um, when Mercedes started going into these type of fish style keys, uh, they were not really reliable. They are reliable, but you you have to be on top of that. So this the owner of this car actually has only one key, so I'm gonna have to tell him to get another key for this car, just an extra key, just in case. Uh, because usually the what happens is the, the either the key just starts going bad by itself you know you change the batteries nothing happens and even the circuit board looks good inside you know the coil inside of the circuit board is not loose everything looks good but still it just wouldn't start the car wouldn't turn the key to the ignition so in that case you need a new key or something else is wrong so yeah there's a bunch of things going on guys honestly and um but like i said i mean i don't hate this car i still like this car and i think they deserve love and care um you know in about 2000 i would say my mark for mercedes-benz stops i would say maybe 2006 2007 era the most you know anything after that is just complete garbage you know even these cars you know they they're still they, i've been doing a lot of work to this car guys there's still a lot that needs to be done so 
yep super fun but uh yeah just wanted to like kind of share that my opinions about these cars and it's not just the c-class you know the same thing having w211 chassis uh w210 also has a bunch of like electronic stuff but w w210 is actually like those cars are pretty reliable the w210s i don't know like how but like i remember i had a w210 for you know six years it's it's pretty amazing the amazing cars but yeah this one also like i said these these new era cars they also have transmission uh control module well um and they also have yeah so transmission control module there's a bunch of communication lines there's a bunch of extra unnecessary modules that these cars have and uh you know it is what it is i mean that's that's how they made those cars but sadly you know you need to realize and you need to teach your kids you need to convince other people to love and take care of amazing old school benzes and other old school cars uh because they will never make them like they used to you know so yeah just like my baby benz right there i, I admire every single day so yeah i don't know guys uh just want to also say thank you for watching my videos and my channel thank you so much for everything guys it really means a lot yeah see you in the next one I'm not gonna go over everything that I've already done to this car because you know you guys will see everything in the upcoming videos but here's the car all right and here's the key so I'll just quickly try to show you what's going on uh, I had to take the whole interior apart to clean it and preserve it and all that okay so there's still work that needs to be done door panels off because I'm fixing this this door lock is junk all right when the car when you're driving the car the literally the cluster will say stop or like the cluster will say door open like it literally like tells you on the lcd display door open literally like, on this side and it would like you literally you'll, you'll be driving like five like 10 seconds and it would like beep beep and then it would say door open and then you keep driving and then again next 10 seconds beep again and then this door lock uh yeah that it has an issue it's not only that but i think there's like spring broken so like anytime you try to lock the car this thing just like jumps up and down so i still have to take it out and look how unreliable these cars are not unreliable just poorly made right well that's airbag but that's whatever so for me to take this door lock out door lock actuator i'm gonna have to drill these rivets and i knew that i knew that because i mean two tens are the same way but i do love w two tens guys honestly i mean it's sad that you know they mercedes started making them really poorly but w210 and even w203 are still amazing cars and i really love them uh for the fact that this specific model has uh optioned manual seats which is really amazing because i know some power seats on these cars also had uh parasitic draw issues so at least this one has manual seats so that does you don't have to worry about that okay let's see what else can we talk about typical stuff uh so this um fuel filler door actuator which i'll show you is bad so i have a new one on the way it just stopped working and it didn't stop working i think it has it wasn't working for a while yeah it's just lock locking and unlocking doesn't do anything so it's another part that's failed uh yeah like i mentioned that siren that was drawing the current that's failed part as well it's been drawing a lot of current uh oh forgot to mention this uh combination switch right here actually i had to replace that this combination switch the cluster is actually also out because i'm having a problem with uh fuel rpm and speedometer needles not working at all the rest of the cluster is working but the, the speedometer and everything is not um i had to change this combo switch because you would click it down it would not stay down now it's working fine it's gonna be another video about that uh i honestly don't know guys there's there's a bunch of stuff going on um also have to watch out for these it's probably common not just on these cars but had to put liquid electrical tape in there for now kind of preserve it before as those uh opening and closing of the tailgate just does that with time um what else can i say about this car this car has mm, not a full size spare it's like a like a, almost like a tiny donut i don't know i can't even like show you right now but 
yeah um uh, other than that i mean the car is actually really clean it looks dirty now but it's actually pretty clean um what else i can say did a lot of work to uh suspension on it and um yeah honestly i don't know guys this uh this is the car all right uh i'm gonna tell you right now guys i haven't worked a lot on these engines before all right this uh it's an inline four compressor uh 1.8 liter um i really hate the design because not the engine but where the engine control module is as you can see totally exposed to all the heat and everything all the elements really really bad the heat right if you think about 190e 190e has the ecm really far far away from the engine compartment bay it sits like right about here where the battery is it's where all the modules are on the 190e on this one it's literally right here and they did that on purpose another thing is there's a fuse box right here it's also a sam module signal signal acquisition module so that module actually you know controls a bunch of things there's a rear a sam module as well so these modules control like your your lights your wipers a bunch of other things right uh god forbid you get water in there it's gonna start having a bunch of different problems you know so this drain right here is kind of loose because this mount right there is a little broken so i would i would have to well it's not too bad now i'm gonna have to check the drains and everything too but this is you know i think this is the stuff to watch out for you don't want the water to be getting in your fuse box and uh, sand module and just corroding everything uh yeah uh like i said guys there's there's a bunch of stuff that uh, needs to be done to this car and um but i'm actually really amazed because this car is 20 years old and um you know runs and drives actually pretty good but just has a bunch of miscellaneous issues that need to be sorted out yeah i'm not saying the 190 is perfect 190e i got it several years ago uh and it was super super tired because of you know thanks to previous owners and everything but this car is doing really good slowly but surely um getting this car back to its life i actually just hit 256,000 miles on 190 this one has 170 something eight i think or six thousand miles and yeah but i just wanted to kind of share my opinions and thoughts about these cars they're actually really fun like i said they came with a manual six-speed transmission which is really cool for these cars and uh, you know a lot of people love these cars and like i said i don't hate this car i do really like this car and the way it looks um you know i just wish that things were a little more reliable as far as electronics uh and everything else you know and i really wish they still used regular bolts and nuts and not rivets to hold the window regulators and all this stuff in you know um these car manufacturers you know bring back these amazing old school machines the w124s w140s uh 